Hello everyone, welcome back to Challenger Part 2 of the, the, return, the, the Return to Blood Knight. That's the word. And I can clearly not talk, so we should just start. Hello, William. Away. How are you doing today? Great. Hello, Henry. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. I'm British. How about yourself? I'm doing alright. I yes. wanted to touch base with you about something. I heard that some of the employees saw a preview of the new animatronics design and didn't they like were it. a bit concerned that they looked a little too scary and robotic. Nah, what were fine. your thoughts on that? Well, I can understand why they might think that. But I assure you the final project will be much more child friendly. The employees sure. only saw a work in progress and were still fine tuning the details. Great. I hope you're right, William. But they're still terrifying. Don't any negative experiences from our young guests. As I mentioned before, I've been studying child psychology to ensure that the animatronics create a positive and safe experience. Suspicious. I'm confident that we'll achieve that goal. I believe my robots will be the best around. All right. You do. I trust your expertise in this area. On a personal note, how are you holding up with with the uh, divorce Stuff. proceedings? Oh no. It's been a difficult time, Henry. I Out of the wars. But I'm doing my best to keep my focus on my work and my children. They're the most important thing to me. So is Charlotte for me. Right. She's my only family. I just want you to remember that it's okay for you to take some time to yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. True. Don't forget to take a break and recharge. Thank you for the reminder. I Henry. appreciate your concern. I'll try to take care of myself as well and my work. No problem, William. We'll talk again soon. Will Take do. Care. You too, Henry. Thank you, Henry. Also, am I William or Henry? I still don't know. I could also just be a rando. That is possible. Witness day. You're new. I didn't even see the puppet last night. Greetings, my dear employee. Congratulations on making it to night three. The simple Thank fact you. that you're here listening to me means that you've made a glorious contribution to Fazbear Entertainment. On behalf yes. of the founders and myself as the CEO Damn of the company, man. I want to thank you for your participation and dedication to this job. We hope that we can count on you for another week of Please. your excellent service. Unless you've got some big dreams you're chasing after. So, tell me, have you seen anything weird the past couple of nights? Of course. You know, I want to know every little detail going on in this fine establishment. But if you didn't report nothing this morning, I'll assume everything's all good. Speaking of which, have you ever wondered how this place operates during the day? No. Despite all the rumors and investigations, it's actually pretty great. I mean, I was taking a stroll around here earlier and saw some kids jumping into the ball pit and having a blast. Cool. They even pretended it was a time machine. Kids these days. <laughs> huh. I tell you, sometimes those kids have more imagination in their pinkies than most adults have in their whole bodies. Um, there it's you a shame are. we lose that spark as we get older. But hey, that's what Fazbear Entertainment is all about. Bringing a little magic back into our lives, right? And you're a crucial part of making that happen. So keep up the good work. Actually, I have a little something for you in case you're interested in earning an additional $20. We're recording some lines uh -oh. for the instruction tapes regarding the spring lock technology, and I think you'd be perfect for the job. You do? You've got a great voice, kid. All you have to do is read some text into a recording machine, and I'll make sure you're compensated for your time. Sure. You don't gotta learn nothing fancy, just be the voice on the tapes. We wanna send them to every pizzeria that uses new spring lock costumes. How cool is that? Cool. Alright, you'll meet our new assistant. Her name is Karen. She's going to tell you exactly what to do. Cool. Great then. Keep up the good work and keep on keeping on. Until next time, stay safe and don't forget to check those cameras. I'll do Talk that. Oh fuck, it's gone. There you are. Where are you, Carol? Also, where's the white rab rabbit? Danger? Murder? Rabbit? You gone? Where I saw something on that camera and I did not like what I saw. God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. You're still there. 
I wonder what it was I saw. I'm assuming there's something coming from that room at some point. Holy shit, you're close. Cooper? Nope. I believe you're gonna come closer. Mm, don't like that. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for a nice cue. Is he gone? Is he gone? Is that the puppet I heard? No? Okay. Hello. Not sure where Spring Bunny is. appear to be here there you are buddy so it seems like there's a sound cue whenever they appear guess we'll have to find out the hard way you coming or you just gonna Stand there. Do not appreciate these noises. Puppet? I don't know what that was. Eh. Uh, bye. What was that laugh? I finally saw the puppet, I guess. So when there's a laugh, creepy girl laugh, that's the pooper. I guess I can't see that room anymore. Probably fine. Probably fine. I'm sure it's fine. Nothing could go wrong here. You're not here. And you're not here. And that's great. Where the Okay, geez, guess I can't see that camera anymore. Oh, he moves. Okay, I get it. So we know there's someone here. Along with Fredbear. I'm pretty sure Fredbear's there too. So whenever he... Probably gets down to this, or this camera. I would assume... Don't like that. No pooper. Also, I have no idea if he's actually there. Where did Spring Bunny go? You're here. Oh! There is, in fact, someone there. Oh, okay, we're close in that. That too, I guess. That's one gone. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. That is terrifying. So. so I... Don't like you. Is just flash you? I don't. I don't know what to do. Well, he definitely moved. Yeah. Okay, that's Spring Bonnie. Not him. Great. I am dead. Spring Bunny comes from his right. I'll listen closely for briefing light. For briefing light? Okay, whatever. Get... Hello, Can I How skip this? We... There we go. I have no idea who that was. I'll just... Is he? 
No, he's not there. Greetings, my dear employee. Congratulations so he probably comes from here. on making it to night three. The simple fact that you're here listening to me means that you've made a glorious contribution to Fazbear Entertainment. Yes, 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 yes. On yes. behalf of the founders and myself as the CEO of the CEO. company, I want to thank you for your participation and dedication the to this after. job. We hope that we can count on you for another week of your excellent service. Unless you've got some big dreams you're chasing after. So, tell me, I have you seen don't. anything weird the past couple of nights? You know, I want like to know every two? little detail going on in this fine establishment. But if you didn't report nothing this morning, I'll assume everything's all good. All good. Speaking of which, have you ever wondered how this place operates during the day? Nope. Despite all the rumors and investigations, it's actually pretty great. Investigations. I mean, I was taking a stroll around here earlier and saw some kids jumping into the ball pit and having a blast. Having a blast. They even pretended it was a time machine. Kids these oh, days. Huh. Huh. I tell you, sometimes those kids have more imagination in their pinkies than most adults have in their whole bodies. It's a shame we lose that spark as we get older. But hey, that's I guess so. entertainment is all about. Bringing a little magic back into our lives, right? I don't appear You're to be a able to part of making that happen. So keep up the good work. Okay, okay never mind. Boing, boing. Cooper's not here, and you just flash her whenever he gets here. You here? I'm guessing he comes from here. I guess it's gonna be like 3 a.m. before anything happens, anyway, so I might as well just look around. No. I assume that the uh, other white rabbit will come from there. Where'd he go? There he, there he go. Well, anyway, certainly he's not there. And Pooper, still not here. That's great. I don't like the Pooper. He's scary. Oh. Also, I don't. Remember if Rainbow made any noise? That's kind of bad. You're gonna have to find out again. I mean, we know Spring Bunny does. Obviously. Now, what did you fucking say? Well, there's Spring Bunny. here cool and he's in the killing stage soon <laughs> holy fuck that was quick I swear to god I'm just not ready for that I just thought that uh, the guy that blocked the camera stuff was coming. Stupid puppet. They're both here. As far as I can tell, the guy that was uh, I was fucking terrified of it uh, uh, last night is not here yet. Is it when he comes at 3 a.m.? Probably. No pooper. I'm gonna stay. I'm not gonna stay in that camera until 3 a.m., am I? That'd be crazy. Totally crazy. Okay. I hate the pup. I hate him. With a burning passion. In my heart. Could you turn 3 a.m. already? There you go. Not so hard. And he's still not here. Like where? Where does he go? And where are Spring Bunny? He's here. Oh, hello. So. God damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Closing in. Up you can go to hell. So we know there's a sound for Spring Bonnie. 
And... Where's Red Bear? He's all the way over there. I guess that works in my favor. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. I hate him. He's making me so goddamn anxious. Where's Red Bear go? They're over here. Go down. Spring is still there. He's almost ready <gasps> to kill me. Fucking holy shit. Oh boy. I was not expecting that. Huh? Still there. And you have moved. I don't like you. Go away. He's fucking too. And also, I don't think Fredbear makes any noise. Where'd he come from? Where'd he go? He's already there. You don't know. Oh, hello. Yep, don't trust that. And don't trust you. How are you? go. So far, still alive at 4 a.m. I hate you. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't like you. Oh, God. It gets me every fucking time. Fuck off. All the way down there. Okay, there he was. Hey. Nope. What am I supposed to? Wait, what? Where's Red Bear? He's all the way over there. Have it? No. Okay. Good. Didn't even press the button. All the way down there. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Just... Whenever that happens... You need him to get real fucking close. Don't you dare. Hey! That only took 20 minutes. <laughs> Holy fuck. These are some long nights. Actually. Are we gonna see that? What the fuck? What is wrong with your teeth? I still don't know what we're actually looking for. Scanning away. Wishy wishy whoosh. Oh, so scary. Hmm. Anything in your face? I guess not. Doesn't matter. Well, I guess we'll get first day a try. But I'll die or not. This will be the end. How are things going with the new restaurant? Busy. For this video. We're on track for a successful opening tomorrow. Glad to hear it. Wow. And have you taken all the necessary safety measures? Of course. I don't need anyone telling me how to run my business. And those employees who think otherwise can find work elsewhere. Cool. Uh, understood. And what about your family? How's everyone doing? Don't get so personal. Elizabeth has been with me at work for the past few days. But as for Michael and Evan, Evan influenced by their mother's lies. Michael is too busy being a typical rebellious teenager. 
Devon is just a young child who doesn't understand the situation. I guess that could be a name. Frankly, I'd rather keep my distance from them for the time being. Cool. They're at home at the moment. I see. Have you tried to have a conversation with your wife about this? No. It's not worth the effort. Exactly. She's always being self-centered. Doesn't care about the family's well-being. She's even cool. had the audacity to call me a hypocrite. Hypocrite. But let's not focus on that right now. Let's talk about the restaurant, shall we? Uh, sure. But don't forget about your Hooray. family. They're important too. I don't need you to remind me of that. I know it's important. Now, if there's yeah. nothing else, I have work to do. Actually, I just wanted to say that I worry about you. We know. I hope the restaurant's success will make you happy. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, but I have no time for your pity. I'll talk to you soon. Yes. Talk to you soon. William. Thursday. The puppet. Now the bear there. Greetings, night guard. Congratulations on making it to night four. I must Thanks. say, I'm impressed with your work so far. You're doing a fine job, and I'm proud of you. I'm able to come here. Uh, my neck. Uh, my neck. It feels like it's been bit in half and twisted like a pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. Uh, I had this okay. weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell oh, you, it wasn't pretty. Is that? My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Uh oh. Now I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be of honest, they're giving me the heebie-jeebies, especially that new bunny one. But, on the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be uh -oh. a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. <laughs> but I'm confident you'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard procedures and keep those robots uh, out. Oh, by hello. the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Who knows? Maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Ah, uh, fuck. Now, hold on a moment. I'm being interrupted. What's up, Gary? Holy fuck! There's this document that just arrived. What? It's... well, it's better for you to look at it. Uh, a nope. noticed document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Crime? Yeah, including Fred Bear's family. Died yes. That's outrageous! I, uh, uh, uh. All right. All right, I understand. Swear they're active now. Now, please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. What the fuck? Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn baby. Trust sure. me on this one, kid. I apologize for that interruption. Oh, it is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you down. The closure of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. Keep doing what you're doing, and you'll be just fine. Camera's not needed. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you keep hearing strange noises or distorted voices, it's probably just our new Fred Bear roaming around. You know how these things go, always causing trouble. We're yes, working yes, yes. on fixing its music box, which is also supposed to make him talk. But in the meantime, just remember to keep that door shut if it gets too close to your office. Alrighty then, yes. keep up the good work, and I'll get you on the flip side. Please don't. Hate you. We're here. Oh, oh fuck, there's two. One more, I believe. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Holy fuck! Why does Spring Bunny plays hide and seek on the cameras? He'll appear, his face will peek, and something, something, something. Well, anyway, that's all time I have for this episode. So with that fun ending, I guess it'll be it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.